There we go. That's a bigger fish. Oh yeah. That is a big fish. Oh yeah. Gotta get him on the reel. I don't wanna lose him either. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I do appreciate it. Today, Kobe, who's over my shoulder, Hello. and I are fishing up in the Cascade Mountains in these little freestone rivers. We're gonna start off in this small stream. Looks really good. And hopefully get into some wild cutthroat trout. All right, let's get in there and do some fishing. Oh, I should let you know, I've got two setups, two setups with me. I've got my three weight with a great big chubby and a uh, TJ hooker dropper. And on all my five weight down in the holster, I've got a great big Sculptzilla, one of my favorite flies to fish. So I'm gonna kind of run both top water and run a streamer through some of these holes. All right, let's get in there and do some fishing. Man, that looks good. Oh, had another fish bash it. Oh man, that was a fish. That's a tree. There we go. <laughs> Little guy. He uh, took the dropper. Oh, just a little rainbow. Uh, let's see if I can show him to you. It's a little wild rainbow. That guy, pretty. There we go. Ate my uh, TJ Hooker again. Yeah. Another little rainbow. God, for how small these guys are, they pull pretty hard. Got a little barbless hooks. All right, buddy. Swim the other way. There we go. All right. See, I'm going to see if they want maybe a little bit bigger meal and run that Sculptzilla through here. Sculptzilla. Oh, I see some rises downstream from you, too. All right. Barb is gone. Love fishing this Sculptzilla. Super effective. Rockfish. Okay, here's a trick to get flies off sticks. Use it kind of as a as a hook thing. Could be really effective. See that? You gotta be careful not to break your tip, but it works. Oh, here we go, he ran up and grabbed it. He hit it and then rammed it and grabbed it again. It's a cutthroat. On the Sculptzilla. It's a good fish. Oh yeah. It's a nice fish. This guy. Beautiful. Wild cutthroat. The advantage of having these two setups, right, and this O-Pro's third hand, I was able to quickly switch over to the Sculptzilla after running my dry fly dropper through this section, and guess what? There was a fish willing to eat that, so that's why 
you'll catch a lot more fish with this fly fishing accessory. Now this can be a little complicated if I hook into one, but you gotta try. Uh, I swear sometimes being tall can be a bit challenging. Let's see if I can skeech under this. Oh, yeah, that was not easy. Look at that in there. You know there's a fish in there. Just don't know if I'll be able to get at it. Oh, there, there's the fish. Oh, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get him out of there. Spot number two. One of my favorite sections. I mean, it just looks otherworldly. It's so beautiful in here. So this is one of my favorite sections of this river. Not just because it fishes really well, it's just this gorgeous canyon. I mean, just steep basalt banks just absolutely gorgeous in here and it can hold some pretty good fish There's some really good plunge pools here and i'm gonna start up top and run i'm gonna start i'm gonna probably start with my sculptzilla and see if i can dredge out a lunker that's wanting a big meal it's still pretty early in the morning so it's still shaded in here nicely all right let's go see if we can catch one There we go. Just where it was supposed to be. Nice. Nice cutthroat. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish. Wow. I mean, just really pretty fish. Thank you very much. So when you're fishing rivers, this particular feature where you have fast water and slowing down into a deeper pool, these can really hold fish. So don't pass up those type of opportunities. Let's go see if there's a fish in this spot. And I'm thinking there's gonna be. Try not to get stuck in the trees. Cause that does happen a lot when you're fishing these small streams. And then I always check just to make sure there isn't any fray. So we're good. All right, let's try this again, shall we? See, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how long you've been fly fishing, you're gonna get stuck in the trees. Oh, there's a big fish right there. Oh, and he came up and grabbed it. Oh my God, that was a good fish. There he is again. Oh yeah, he came back for it. Oh, oh my God. He took a swipe at it. Then I it was able to cast it back. That was the moment that Flyfish Dan realized that the record button on his camera was not turned on. Told you, these, these sections, this type of feature in a river will hold fish, whether it's a small stream, a small creek, or a big river. Find where rushing water dumps in and slows down and gets deep. There's going to be a fish in there. Pretty cool. Notice also upstream cast. A lot of times that presentation can be super effective when fishing streamers. I do that most of the time and then sometimes I'll swing it down on the way down. But that just, I don't know what it is, but the upstream cast quickly pulling your fly downstream is super effective. Oh. Now a little cutthroat. Pretty little fish. Pretty loose. Gone. Uh, here, people just 
It's just like this sweet spot. Following the bubble line down and everything. I tell you, I love fishing these freestone rivers out in the Cascade Mountains. I mean, there's just nothing else like it. If you live in the area, you really should take the time to get up there and do some fishing up in the Cascade Mountains. Just, it really is pretty special. So I decided to break this up into two parts. So please join me for part number two where I hit a bigger system a little bit further up right here in this video. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, see you on the next one. Fish on. Let's do this. Fish on.